Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sumit from Backbench Coder. So we have almost finished our YouTube clone project and in this section we are going to refactor our code. As you can see I need to show the user's image inside this header. I also need to show the user's image inside this comment section. Then I need to fix the styles of these links and some other stuffs. So let's go to the code editor. Nice. I have also noted down some points I need to refactor so I'll use this as a reference. Okay, so let's do it one by one. But before that please hit the like button if you are enjoying my content. That's the only source of motivation so please show some support. Okay so first of all I need to fix the sidebar links and color. So just go to the sidebar.js. Cool. Here I need to wrap all this list using the link. So just copy this link, wrap this. And by the way guys this section is completely optional for you. I'll put the link of the updated code in the description box so you can just check that out. So just wrap this. Nice. The link is home so just single slash nice and then the second link like videos i'm going to talk about this in a minute history i'm not going to do that library i don't know log out yep that's everything for this i need to fix the style so just go to sidebar.sys and here inside this sidebar just let me copy a code and paste it here cool so i'm just targeting all these anchor tags the color is text color is coming from the base.sys file and on hover I'm not changing the color and the text decoration none so it will remove the underline. Save this. Go to the app. This is subscription home. Fine. Click on this home. I'm on the home page. Click on this subscription. I'm on the subscription page. Okay. So let's see the second point. The second point is like videos API reference. Okay. So just go to the app. Now for the like videos I'm not going to implement this because it is again going to be repetitive but you can surely implement this. In fact it's a good assignment for you as at this point you are much much familiar with this YouTube API and also with our application flow. So give it a try. I'm going to show you the API documentation. So I'm on the documentation. Click on this videos and just go to a list. Okay. Here as you can see the parameters. This is my rating. So just define this my rating the dislike or like and this will return you the videos related to like and dislike so look at this you can pass two values dislike and like this will return all the like videos by the authenticated user so just give it a try and then the way you can like a video just click on this rate the endpoint is video slash rate remember you also need to pass the access token cause it is related to authorization and then you can pass this required parameters the id is the video's id and the rating is whatever you want like dislike or none if you face any problem just comment down below i am always there so let's see the third task this is user's image on the header and comment section this is important so as you can see currently i am showing a dummy image like whoever he is i don't know so let's put it with the original image the original user's image so just go to redux here go inside the state go inside this auth here as you can see inside this users object I have this photo URL so I just need to replace the users image using this photos URL so just go to header.js here I just need to read the data from the redux store for that I am going to use use selector should be auto imported from react redux cool the name of the state is auth and from the auth I need the user actually just use an optional chaining here after this auth cool and then from the user I need the photo URL so just destructure this photo url cool and then just replace this photo url so just replace this source with this photo url inside a curly brace cool nice and now just go to the comment section the comments component i should say okay i also need to show the user's image here so just copy the code the copy the code from the use selector copy this line go to comments put at the top I can use multiple use selectors so not a problem nice just replace this photo url here try to replace yep inside this just put a all tag avatar just replace this source inside a curly brace photo url cool save this just go to the app refresh this nice I can see my image here and just click on a video inside this comment section nice here is my image Cool. Let's see the fourth point. Mm. This is use an favicon and change the page title dynamically. So for the favicon, you can use an icon or an PNG image. I have already got an YouTube logo link, so just copy this one. Go to index.html. 
inside this index.html I need to put this favicon where to put here inside this link rel icon href I need to replace this link cool save this nice just find a YouTube logo and just put it here just refresh the page nice I have this YouTube logo here and now I need to change the title of this page dynamically so what I mean by dynamically is if I am on the watch screen the page title should be same as this video title this Ajab Gazab police station Amit Bharana Mark Dekna ok so for this purpose you can use vanilla javascript to change the page title dynamically or you can use another package which is called react helmet which will also help you in SEO the search engine optimization or something like that mm -hmm. so react helmet npm click on this link here it is the massive downloads ok so let's see how we can use this mm, actually we can import a component which is called helmet and then inside this I can pass my title link and all these stuffs ok so let's do it install this package npm i react helmet I have already installed that just go to the watch screen watch screen dot js cool first of all I need to import the helmet not helmet react helmet no helmet from react helmet <laughs> so let's import helmet 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 so import helmet from react helmet cool then inside a component let's say inside this row I need to import this helmet let's pass the title this is same as the video title so just copy this video snippet title uh, uh, uh. inside a curly brace cool save this let's see go to the YouTube using YouTube refresh this nice look at the title this is Ajab Gajab police station and then click on another video like everything is toxic here let's click on this job interview gone wrong look at the title this is job interview gone wrong so you can use this react helmet in every page and then pass some meta tags description title but I am going to create a custom helmet component and then put it in every page so let's create a component basically I need to pass some default properties inside this helmet component so inside this components folder let's create another component named helmet custom dot js cool dummy component rafc tab cool just remove this div put the helmet nice import the helmet component control space auto imported cool inside this helmet I need to pass the title so I'll get that as a property so title and then descriptions let's put a default title which is YouTube using YouTube YouTube using YouTube so if I don't mention anything it will be my title and then the description something like a project made with YouTube API and react JS cool save this and then inside the helmet just put this title a title is my title and then for the description this is meta name description the content is description let me copy some other stuff that I need to put inside this head here it is I'll put this link in the description box so you can just copy that out ok so these are OG local OG type OG title OG description if you are not familiar with OG OG means open grab meta tags they are the part of Facebook's open graph protocol and are also used by some other social media sites like LinkedIn, Twitter. I'll put a nice documentation related to this so you can just check this out for more details. I'm not going deep into this OG but you can definitely check this out. Okay and now just import this helmet custom inside our watch screen. In fact not inside our watch screen inside our video metadata cause it is extracting our title and the description so it's better to use inside this video metadata so inside this div put this component which is our helmet custom should be auto imported it's a self closing component cool I need to pass the title the title is the same as the title the video title and then the description this is same as the video description cool save this refresh this it should be same just change this for every screen you can do that let's see the next point hover pointer on categories bar yep I guess you have noticed that categories bar dot says the span on hover not on hover this is cursor pointer save this beautiful let's see the next point this is watch screen responsive so just go to the watch screen just go for the responsiveness 
look at this it will be better if i just decrease the size of this video player for the smaller screen so just go to watch screen dot says i've already done that so just comment this out so basically i'm importing this base dot says file and then for the breakpoint small this is 520 pixel just target this watch screen player and just decrease the height to 35 viewport height refresh this cool it's far better nice let's see the next point remove padding left from video horizontal image okay so here is a scope of improvement mm, just go to this related videos yep inside this related videos you can see there is some extra padding here which i don't really need so i can make this video larger if i remove that padding so just go to the video horizontal dot says cool here inside this left i can just remove this padding left so i have already commented that so just remove the comment cool this is comment left zero and just put the importance so that it can override the bootstrap style save this look at this our image got larger and it is far better there is always a chance to improve your code so just try to refactor your code okay so the next point is we are almost finished i guess preview to do preview to do okay solve the warnings what are the warnings i don't have any warning my warning is cleared nice and then push the changes come on it's a ci cd pipeline so we don't need to build our app we don't need to deploy it manually we can just push my code to the main branch and my github action will take care of this remember it's magic terminate the job okay so git add stage everything git commit refactor or added some more bugs nice mm -mm -mm. and just git push let's me check if i am on the main branch oh wow bank git branch yes i am on the main branch so at this point i can just push cool so it will automatically build my code and deploy it to the firebase nice okay so that's it for this project i hope you have learned a few important concepts related to react and api well to be honest i want to teach the way i want it to be taught so if you have some feedback please let me know in the comment section i always try to improve my video quality and so far if you are enjoying my content please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel i make videos on web development and web designing so if it somehow sounds interesting please hit the subscribe button do me a favor support me support this channel so see you in the next video with another awesome project bye